Hello everybody and welcome to Pignet. If you're not familiar with my channel, nice to meet you. My name is Jessie, and you're catching me in the middle of a series that I'm calling the 13 Copic Doodles of Halloween. Every day until Halloween, I'm going to be uploading a new video with a woodland animal dressed in a Halloween costume. Today's animal is a squirrel dressed as a scientist. Squirrel! And I was kind of struggling to like think of what to talk about today, and then I was like, duh, a squirrel! It's like right in front of me. Before I start though, I want to say, this is one of the only times so far in this series that I've had to redraw the animal because normally all of the animals that I've been doing, what you're seeing is my first go at it. I was like originally going to be like, let's pre-color all of them and like test them out and then I was like, ain't nobody got time for that. So I just decided to like see if it just worked out the first time. And the squirrel was the first one that I had to redo because the coloring just wasn't coming out right. I also want you guys to know, if it ever looks like I know what I'm doing with coloring fur, I don't. Just know that the entire time that I'm coloring it, I'm just going, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's basically like, this This one was kind of scary for me because it's got lots of fur, but I just kept layering and layering and layering, and if you just keep doing that, you'd be surprised how well it works. <laughs> what I wanted to talk about today is my fascination with squirrels. We obviously see them a lot when we go on the dog walks with Luna. I've always been so curious about them, and Justin knows this too because I talk about it all the time. I'm like, here are these animals, and they're like these wild animals that live right in our backyard, and yet we don't know anything about their lives. Like, we don't know anything about them. It's basically not common knowledge, and that's what I'm kind of surprised by. It's like, they live right in our backyard. One thing that I was thinking about recently is about how, as you get older, you make a decision, I guess, as to whether or not you're going to continue to learn, or if you're just gonna not, and just go with life and do the bare minimum. And I always like the idea of always continuing to learn. I think I've decided, randomly, I think I want to start researching squirrels, and I think I want to learn about squirrels, because I'm curious. I don't know about you guys, but I'm curious. And I was actually thinking that might be an idea for some kind of a video, like maybe even a video series. Not like a daily one, but like just a series that would pop up and become a playlist on my channel. Where I have illustrations that are corresponding to the topic and it's basically about an animal. Your friend the squirrel. And then it would kind of be like an informational video. And I don't mean like a boring one, I would hope it wouldn't be boring, but like just something interesting. Like maybe you'd be curious to learn a little more about these things too. And there'd be fun little drawings to go along. So. Let me know if that's something that you guys would have any interest in. I'd love to hear it because I don't know about you, I'm just so curious. I'm so curious to learn about these squirrels. And whether or not I turn it into a video, I'm still gonna research squirrels, so I'm doing it without you even if you don't want it. I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you guys like how this squirrel turned out, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to color this squirrel yourself, I'm offering free coloring pages for all of the animals in this series on my Facebook page. Search the word Pignit, P-I-G-K-N-I-T. You can download it, color it however you'd want, and then share it with me on your social media of choice using the hashtag Pignit. I've had a couple of people share some with me, and it makes me really excited. Um, I have no request for comments. I guess, do your thing. You guys are pretty good about leaving comments. Also, all of the art materials used in this video will be linked in the description box below if you're interested. I've also failed to mention in the last few videos, I do have these listed on Etsy. If you follow the link in my description box, the description box is basically like the mothership of all of this. Anytime you need any information or if you have any questions about products that I'm using, you can usually find it in the description box. So go ahead and check it out. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Also, did you guys see that today is number 10? Can you believe it? Thank you so much for those of you who have been with me since day one. Maybe some of you have watched it all the way from the start. I'll be honest, I was surprised by how exhausting this series has been. <laughs> this has been a lot of work and it's definitely been a learning experience, so thanks for putting up with me, thanks for being here. I hope that you're excited to wrap up this series with me and see what the last three days bring. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The animal for today is a beaver dressed as a witch. Or a wizard. It was supposed to be a witch, kinda looks like a wizard, I'm calling it a witch. 